when you first meet people, people never really show you their whole selves, right? They only compartmentalize themselves and choose to show you their, their representative, their good side, their happy side. And what tends to happen is that over time, this facade cracks, this facade breaks, and if and it breaks into in because of two things: time and pressure. All right. And unfortunately, when we are meeting people, we take on we we tend to focus on appearances a lot more than on what they are actually showing us. And as a result, we tend to get deceived. We tend to get manipulated because we fall for the halo effect. If they are pretty. If they have one positive trait here, if they're Buddhist, if they're religious, and then it means that all the other personality traits are aligned. When in reality, when you really observe yourself and others, you tend to notice you have a lot more contradictions than consistencies. You have, you're, you are a lot more hypocritical than you really think you are if you really observe what you value versus what you do. So when you first meet people, um, we naturally your natural compulsion is to find a find a fixed image. We're all trying to find patterns, and we're all trying to create a consistent fixed um, um, version of people, so that we can stop thinking too much, so that we can stop analyzing too much, so that we don't have to be confused. Because when we're first getting to know people, it's more of a it's more of a fuzzy, confusing experience because we're trying to. Add, we're trying to um, we're trying to solve the puzzle, right? And a lot of people just don't like that. A lot of people don't like to observe. A lot of people don't like to pay attention. And the reason why is because they're just so lazy. They're lazy socialites. They're lazy humans. They're so self-absorbed that they just want to they just want to make a quick judgment on people so that they can go back and pay attention to them. And as a result, they tend to get played. They tend to get manipulated. They tend to be shitty people to be around with because they rarely pay attention to you. They rarely notice in the details of you and you tend to resent that and we're all making that mistake most people are rarely interested in other people rarely pay attention so let's talk about what are those things that you have to pay attention to because people rely on your laziness to hide these things they rely on it right so these are the things right the first one is that they well it's not even the first one it's actually the, the it's, it's it's one thing that comes with a lot of things people hide their emotional vulnerabilities Emotional vulnerabilities are parts of, of yourself and themselves that are underdeveloped, are parts that they have, no, they have no control over their compulsion. There are some parts that they have developed, that they have some control over, and they use that as a facade, and they use that as a mask that fuses with their real selves, right? But what tends to happen is that time and pressure breaks that. And the problem when that happens is that rather than just assume, rather than, rather than understand that what you were seeing was a facade, rather than understanding that you're actually getting to know the person and this is a side of their personality, we tend to ignore it. We tend to just not update them in our minds. We, we, we don't use what they give us as a way to add on to how we see them in their minds. Why? Because one, they, I, they either they tell us not to pay attention. Don't notice the fact that I hit you. Don't notice the fact that I lied to you. Don't notice the fact that I slept with your friend. Don't notice none of that stuff because I'm sorry, because I was actually going through a lot of things. I usually don't act this way. I am more faithful. I don't play those types of game. I am different. And as a result, rather than take up what they did to you and understand that this is part of a pattern and that you have to judge them in the context of what they did, we ignore it. And we all just focus on the first impression or we just focus on the halo effect where we, we get deep into, um, into our own um, denial and we start assuming things about them that we never really have any evidence for. So people tend to hide those emotional vulnerabilities and these are things, are they're impatient. Right? They try to hide their impatience. They try to hide their impulse control at the end of the day. People with shitty impulse control will manifest themselves over time. They'll cheat on you. They'll lie to you. They'll be addicted to things that you didn't know before. They'll have shitty finances. They make shitty long-term decisions when they have no impulse control. And you'll see, and, and these are some of the things that you may not see initially. Because they hide it. You don't see how much money they owe. You don't see how much, how many um, broken bridges they consistently do because of their impulses. They hide those negative flaws. But the beauty about humans is that people have a compulsion to tell you who they are. People hi have a compulsion to, to show people their true nature because they don't want to, they feel isolated having to hide their true selves. So what tends to happen? As a way to release the pent-up tension, humans tend to leak out information. Either... 
verbally or non-verbally. And if you're not, pay, if you if if you are paying attention, you're gonna notice those leaks because they want you to pay attention unconsciously. So they might, you might notice that they when they when they go out with you, they spend a lot of money compulsively, and you're like, okay. Or they, when you go out with them, they get really drunk with you, and they just say it was just a one-time thing. Or they, they 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 go to raves consistently, and they just say, oh, I'm just that's just my, you know I play hard and work hard. Right, or they get really aggressive at you canceling a date, or they get really aggressive at you um, 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 criticizing them. Those are emotional vulnerabilities where they can't control those emotions, and they tend to act out their real selves when those when those things happen. And what they hope that you do is that you ignore what just happened, that you look the other way, and that you assume this is just a one-time thing. I'm not like that. This is I'm actually more calm. This was a bad moment. When in reality, you shouldn't just say, you know, judge him and say fuck you, but understand hold that puzzle and always look at it so that you could use that information to to create more contacts based on the information they give you. What tends to happen is that we tend to fall in love with the wrong version of them. After two or three months is when people actually start to show you who they are when you're first getting to meet them. After two or three months, they show you their, their compulsions. They show you their dark side. They show you the, 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 their flaws. And the way that it comes out is because they just get comfortable with you. You see, people are polite to strangers. But the more they get to know you, the more the more comfortable they get, the more rude they become. They become more comfortable around you. So that's why after two or three months is when you start to see how psychotic they are, how inconsistent they are. Like time will tell you their story. The problem is that do not be fooled by how they look. Do not be fooled by the impression that you initially had of them. Like some people come across as they're not manipulative. They come across as weak and, 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 and incapable of taking care of themselves. You try to help them. And then they use that emotional vulnerability as a way to manipulate you, as a way to gain power over you. And if you just keep assuming that they're weak and helpless, you're not going to notice how much power and control they have over you through their weakness. You should uh, uh, continually update that. People genuinely, and, and I think these are the most toxic people. People who use their problems, their, their, their vulnerabilities as a way to gaslight you and control you and guilt you into submission. That's why even, even when you get into know people, within the first two or three months, you have to be willing to eject. Because a lot of the times, after a month or two or three, or after they know how much you like them, that's when they start showing their real side. After they know that you emotionally depend on them, after they know that you have invested a lot of emotions on them and that you're not willing to leave, that's when they begin to show you their true self. Once they know, you are dependent on them. And what does that say? It shows you how they deal with power. Unfortunately, with people, you could fall in love with someone and and they'll just and once you do that they'll start showing you another side and unfortunately for you you have no other choice but to walk away if you stay in that situation you're asking to get fucked you're asking to get played you have to learn the art of detaching yourself like almost as though you're detaching a limb that's that that that's cancer is even though it's your limb even though it's going to hurt you have to detach it. Some people are literal, literal, literally create cancer cells within us. And that's the tricky part. Is that you could know someone for two or three months. I mean, for two months. And something magical happens after like, a, like two or three months that you just start seeing another side. Or maybe, you know, initially when you get into know people, the high of the chemistry, the high of the newness tends to blind us with uh, tends to blind us from their from their negative from their negative traits right and we all can assume we all can sense how that makes sense right like that makes a lot of sense to feel their neg to ignore their negative trait evolutionarily that's perfect right that's how humans um um that's how humans sort of get together right it's a, it's it's not a logical thing but this creates blind spots and this is the part that like I was talking to a client and she told me that everything was perfect, but after like four months, the guy just started um, being inconsistent. He started canceling. He started being an asshole to her, started having arguments for no reason. And it, she was like, I don't know why, she, why he's acting this way. It's not him. I'm like, no, it's him. 
you're just getting to know him now, finally. And that's the part that confuses people. It's like they want to believe in what they saw initially. You, you, you as a human being have a need to believe. But you got to understand, they also have a need to hide certain parts, right? They know that there are, there are parts of them that are not socially acceptable, so they try their hardest to hide it from you. You know, and it's your job to detect it. It's their job to hide it, and it's your job to be able to, de- to detect the bullshit. And if you're, not, if you're not good at detecting other people's dark side, at detecting other people's emotional weaknesses and emotional vulnerabilities, and I don't mean emotional weakness as a way to manipulate them, but if you understand that this person has no impulse control, that's an emotional weakness that you don't want to be close to, that you want to stay away from them. Those are the types of things you want to be aware of. Those emotional vulnerabilities. Because those emotional vulnerabilities will eventually end up attacking you and hurting you in the long run. It's best to stay away from people like that. Because nothing good happens. Alright? Anyways, people. um, This happened to me. This happened to me many times. um, and And it sucks when you work so hard with someone to work it out for like a month or so. And they don't really, and and, and you end up finding out that they're a narcissist or that they're selfish or that they're like emotionally stupid or even like IQ wise, they're like really, really not there. Like, like, you know, I don't, I hate to judge people who are, have low IQ, you know what I'm saying? I don't I sound elitist, but it's true. Like if you have low IQ, like that's problematic. That, that really is problematic. You know, they forget like, anyways. It's crazy, man. Um, because I've met people and I thought they were a certain way. And after I got to know them, I realized they weren't. And I was faced with a tough decision. And that's and that's what we. Ha- that's why people try to hide it because they know once you emotionally invest, it's hard. To, it's hard to be honest with yourself about their nature. So they take advantage of that. It's like guys with small dicks, right? They try to get you to fall in love so that once they show you their mini me, you have no other choice but to stay. Right, and so they try to get you to emotionally invest in their light side, so that when they show you their dark sides, you can't leave because you're already addicted to them. Fuck that shit. Develop a meditation practice, develop emotional resilience, and this will help you stay away from people like that and break it off <coughs> before you start to get more emotionally entangled. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to work with me one on one, go to mindfulattraction.org, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. All right, guys, we're gonna have a brief intermission. So I could tell you guys about our new bundle that we're doing where you guys can purchase all of my courses and get it at a discount. So this bundle is pretty much um, the bundle where you could just buy all of my courses. You could buy um, Nice Guy, which is a training course on how to come across more assertive, how to come across more confident, um, how to not give off Nice Guy vibes. You guys can get access to Dark Game, um, which is my folk dating course on how to meet women in different scenarios, how to attract women, how to make sure you don't come across as creepy, and essentially how to act like a man and not act like a doofus, to be quite honest with you. Um, And you get all of these bonuses, which is the bonuses of Dark Game, the bonuses of Practical Mastery, uh, which is about how to master a skill, Social Mastery, which is how to master your social life, and the Laws of Human Nature, which is a book club video that I had dissecting robert green's book you, all of this is naturally at around 238 200 no naturally is at 346 dollars but you guys can purchase this bundle and get it at what, what's the price again uh get it at um two 238 pretty much um so you guys can purchase it right now um it's a money money back 30 day money back guarantee uh, it's a good way to rather than just buying them individually and paying extra you guys can just purchase everything at a discount price now the only thing i don't like is the fact that i'm giving you a lot of information at the same time that makes me kind of scared because a lot of times people don't do the things that i teach when I, when you get too much information but i've gotten too many requests to do this so i'm just satisfying you guys purchase it right now by clicking on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle all right let's continue with the video <laughs> 